All videos will be demonstrated in a visual lesson. When attempting, guidance is suggested. So let's find out how the 80,000 pounds is distributed over a big truck with a 53 foot trailer. So they say you can't be over 12,000 pounds on your steer, your steering wheel. You can't be over 34,000 pounds on your drives, the ones that's there in the middle pushing you. And you can't be over 34,000 pounds on your trailer or your tandem. 12, 34, and 34 equals 80. So when you get to the truck stop, it's a full body scale. That means you pull the entire truck up on the scale and when you get to the end of it, there's a yellow box to the left. You press the button and the lady or the gentleman says first way or reway. This will be your first way. Tell them your truck number, your trailer number. You pull off the people scale. You go inside to get your scale ticket. So when you go inside to get your scale ticket, now that we know the formula, the problem should be easy to identify. You know you can't be over 12,000 pounds on your steers. On this ticket it says 11. 11 is not more than 12, so we know there's no problem right there. Let's go to the middle one. You know you can't be over 34,000 pounds. It says 35, so we know it's a problem right there. You know you can't be over 34,000 pounds on your trailer. It says 32, so that's good. So the problem is easy to identify once you know the formula. 12, 34, 34. Looks like we're a thousand pounds over on our drives. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's examine what's going on here. As you can see, when you release the pins and you pull forward, the tandems are not moving. You just pull the box forward, correct? And when you put it in reverse and you back up, you're pushing the box over the tandems. As you can see, the tandems are not moving. In all actuality, all you're doing is sliding the box back and forward. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look up under the hood here, up under the trailer. As you can see, the pin is right here. All right, we got a stationary object that we're gonna use in case we lose sight of the pin. That's that rail harness right there. And we're going to pull the pin, and the pin is going to disengage. I want you to know that the pin is not moving. This rail harness is not moving. The tandems are not moving. In all actuality, all we're doing is sliding the rail back and forth. So when you get in the truck, you leave your trailer brake set. You release the yellow, and you pull forward, and you're sliding the rail. As you can see, the pin is not moving. The rail harness is not moving, the tandems are not moving, and all actuality, all you're doing is sliding the box back and forth. Okay? Alright, you put it in reverse, leave the trailer brakes alone, and as you can see, the pin is not moving, all you're doing is sliding the rail back and forth. Now, when you're doing this, I want you to understand, it is not your job to try to line the hole and the pin up perfectly. All you want to do is get as close as possible to the hole that you want to be in, press the pin so it lays up against the plate, and simply pull forward, boom, and you're in the hole. All you have to do is get as close as possible to the hole that you want to be in, press the pin so it lays up against the plate, simply pull forward or back, and it will hit the first hole that it comes to. All right, let's test what we learned uh, now that we know the formula for the 80,000 pounds. Okay, so we go inside and get our scale ticket, and it says steer tires. We know we can't be over 12,000 pounds, and it says 12. We know that's even right there. It's not over 12. It's right at 12, so we should be good right there. Let's go to the middle where it says drives. We know we can't be over 34,000 pounds. As soon as we see 31, we know we're not over 34 and we're good right there. 
Okay, let's go to the trailer. We know we can't be over 34,000 pounds. It says 34,400. And now that we know the formula, which is 12, 34, 34, the problem is easy to identify. It's on the trailer. We're over by 400 pounds on our trailer. Okay, so I know each company is different and each trailer uh, weight distribution is different per hole. So let's just say the company that you work for, for every hole that you move up under that trailer, every hole that you slide by, you're moving 300 pounds of pressure. So if every hole is 300 pounds of pressure and you're over 400 pounds, you need to move it at least two holes because only one hole is 300, but you're over 400 pounds. So you got to move it at least two holes. So prior to sliding the Thames, I want you to see the pin right here in this red shaded area is right above this rail harness. So if you pull the pin, the pin will disengage. I want you to understand that the pin is not moving. The rail harness is not moving. The tandems are not moving. All you're doing is sliding the rail back and forth. So we were over 400 pounds. Uh, we're going to pretend that each hole is 300 pounds. So if you pull forward, once you move it one hole, that's 300 pounds. But you were over 400. So that means you got to move it another hole to get the other 100 pounds. All right, so we know how the 80,000 pounds is distributed over the big truck. You can't be over 12,000 pounds on your steers. You can't be over 34,000 pounds on your drives. And you can't be over 34,000 pounds on your trailer. Uh, now that you know this formula, when you go get your scale ticket, uh, the problems are easy to identify because you know the formula. 12, 34, 34. Just like in this example, uh, we're over 400 pounds on our trailer. Uh, each trailer has different weight distribution uh, per hole. So make sure that you get with your company and find out how many pounds uh, a weight is transferred per hole. And once you find that out, doing the math is easy as well. Now, I'm going to give you my little example or my little formula that I use when I want to slide tandem. So hopefully it'll work for you as well. So in two situations that I know of, whatever you did inside the truck had the opposite effect on the outside. That proves to be the fact when you're backing up. If you turn the wheel to the left, the trailer is going to the right. If you turn the wheel to the right, the trailer is going to the left. Okay, the other one is when you're dealing with this weight. Can we agree that this is the front of the trailer? Can we agree that this is the back of the trailer? Okay, where was the problem in the front or in the back? Okay, once you identify where the problem is, when you get in the truck, you do the opposite. In other words, if the problem is on the back, that means pull forward. Front, that means back up. Very simple method, easy to identify, and it's easy for you to understand. So if you use that little method right there, just as I explained it, hope it makes sense for you, and you utilize it, transferring weight, sliding tandems, identifying the problem, doing the math, all of that stuff should be easy. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Another episode of TTV, Transportation Translated Videos.